Hello and welcome to Carmen's A Stitch. I'm Tanya and this is the second week, starting the second week of my 2024 whip roundup. And this is where I'm going through all my active whips just to make sure that I actually want to keep working on them. Cause you know, sometimes we'll start something and we won't touch it for a period of time. And then when we do touch it again, we're like, oh, not really as in love with it as we thought we were. So. What I'm doing is I took all my whips off of my whip wall. I'm having the kids pick one for me at random. I work on that for one day. We talk about it. I decide if I want to keep working on that. If I do, it goes back on my whip wall. And if I don't, it is getting frogged. <laughs> so that is where we're at. We are on, I'm not gonna say a whip number. The whips have been listed. You good, babe? <laughs> she's getting a game she's going in to play a game with her brother um so all of the lists uh all of the whips including the ones that i have frogged have been are listed in the description box below so i've realized i'm messing up the numbers and i don't want to do that so i'm going to just direct you to that box down there this is going to be my next whip we're going to have alex come and pick our next project and then we'll talk about it Okay, what project are you going to pick for me next? Oh. <laughs> I'll let the finger choose. You're going to let the finger choose? Ooh. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a great night or day or wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you, babe. <sighs> okay. So she let the finger do the picking this time. Um, this is it. And this is one. If you are a regular subscriber here, um, you will have just recently seen me working on this one. So I am I feel like I could finish this in a day if I really work on it. So this is my reverse loops sweater. Um, I have the collar done. I have the body almost finished trying to get it turned back around um, and I have the sleeves done so I have this top pretty close to finished I just I've got the sleeves done I've got the collar done I've got the body still on the needles because I wanted to make sure that all of my extra wool could go into making it a length that I wanted and I didn't want to cut myself short by saying, oh, I still have to do the sleeves or, oh, I still have to do the neckline. So now I've got all of that finished and I can work on just putting in the bottom length here. So this is being done on a US, oh, what am I on? What is this? It's a US six. And the yarn that I'm using, I mean, this is truly gonna feel like a sweatshirt, honestly. Um, and I'll get to the pattern here in a second. So this yarn that I'm using is Noro, but it is the Compietto base, the C, or sorry, K-O-M-P-E-I-T-O. -E it is color number five. It is 35% silk, 35% cotton, and 30% palmide. So this is the base up here. And it is Noro. And this is 150 gram balls. That's how these are, it's 150 gram balls with 450 meters per. So um, the pattern that I'm doing is the reverse loop sweater and it is by Other Loops. It is on Ravelry. That is the name of the pattern. That's the designer. And this is pictures 
of the top. This is not yellow, this was just my toner. <laughs> Sorry, but it would be a cool two-tone color, wouldn't it? <laughs> a two-tone two top. So yeah, that's the top I'm making. I really feel like I could get, I, I really feel like a day might be good enough. I might actually have an FO this time, you guys. So I'm going to get to work on this. I have a couple hours tonight. I've got some um, wool in dye pans, so I know I'm gonna be up for just a little while. And then I've got all day tomorrow. So let's see what I can do. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. Hi, hope you enjoyed this video. Where's it gonna go? Uh, I think I told you that this one was gonna have a roommate. Mm, that's a pretty big one. Uh, but here's I the thing. I think I might take to finish it tonight. Do you want to pick a new one? Yeah, take that one out and we'll go pick a new one. It was so hard to get that one. Okay, so we're going to go pick another one mm -hmm. so I can finish this one tonight and we'll have tomorrow's already picked out. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Come on. It didn't happen. It did not happen. Alex and I had a girls night last night and we played cards and we watched... Winnie the Pooh, and we watched Alice in Wonderland, and we played war with cards, and we played trash with cards, and there was minimal knitting. So I'm gonna put this one back on the whip wall, but I'm gonna show you how far I got with it first. So what I was able to do was I was able to fold the collar over and sew it down, stitch it down, so the collar is done. I was able to fold the cuff in. Um, and so what you end up doing with this cuff is you end up, you know, stitching the length of your sleeve and then doing a purl row and then knitting again. And then you fold it over on that purl row. So it has a really nice clean look to the edging of it. I was able to do that to both sleeves. And then length on this, I was on, um, I was talking to some friends and I really do want the added length. And so I put in the progress keeper where I was like, yeah, I think I want about four more inches. So this from here, I want four inches from here and I didn't quite get it and that's okay. Um, I think I know what I'll be doing in December. So we'll talk about that as it gets closer. But for now, this one is going to go back on the whip wall. So I will see you guys later. Bye.